Leaders from Camp Hope are trying to work through another problem, and it's a significant one. They tell us they're not getting enough funding from the county over the next two years to maintain their current level of service. As Hunter Phipps reports tonight, the potential cuts could be massive. While work is finally moving with the Behavioral Health Center at Camp Hope, another problem has now come up. In this last round of funding, we, we were not funded to the level that we asked for. Kay is referring to the RFP awards given out by the county to service providers. According to those awards, Gray City Outreach, who operates Camp Hope, got $450,000 for shelter operations over the next two years. While county leaders have told us the requests were bigger than the funds they had available, Camp Hope CEO Mike Kay telling us it puts the shelter at risk of having to make significant cuts. We're looking at cutting our capacity down to 50 people uh, for what the contract award was, and that'll that'll do a lot of lot of harm for that. So, Kay also telling us staff levels would be impacted too. County Commissioner candidate and current Toppenish Mayor Elpidia Saavedra. Where are those homeless people going to go and where are they going to be staying? I don't agree with that. I feel like there needs to be more transparency. We need to know how those funds are being allocated and why. Kay adding by August 1st, Camp Hope would have to look at using emergency funds to keep service levels temporarily. We asked Commissioner LaDon Lindy what solutions are being looked at. We do have um, other funds which are one year grant. Uh, and, and we're going to be looking at those in the next few weeks and looking at an opportunity where we can, we can actually, I think, solve the problems that the shelters are facing right now and give them additional funding. Currently, county leaders do have this discussion on an August 5th meeting agenda for now. Hunter Phipps, Action News. And we did ask Mike Kay if these funding issues would have any impact on the Behavioral Health Center that is in the works. He told us they would not in the project is moving full steam ahead.